Hey y'all, we are back in the garden today on this fine July afternoon to start the process of getting our fall garden going. I will be direct sowing the first round of seeds into the soil and I will also be clearing out some plants that are ready to harvest and or it's just the end of their life cycle. That way with those plants out of the garden, the new seeds I am planting today will be coming in in the next couple of months and they'll have plenty of room to thrive. It just rained earlier today, so it's the perfect conditions to start the seeds off right. The ground is still damp, it's a little cloudy, there's some overcast, so the seeds won't get roasted. Today, I'm direct sowing at carrots and collard greens, so their harvest time is about 70 to 80 days. That'll give me through about mid-October until the harvest will be ready. Let's get started. I have three broccoli plants that need to go, although I am considering starting more seeds in the next round of my fall seeds in a couple of weeks in August. As of now, the cabbage worms have had their fill of them, which is why they are no longer good. I am also harvesting three fennel that have come in nicely. To harvest them, I dig around the base into the soil and then I cut the thick root that's just below the soil. Both these plants take up a good amount of room, so with them gone, I'll have plenty of space for my collards. I have some weeds in this area also that I need to get rid of, so the seeds have nothing to compete with. I am first planting my collard greens and it should take about five or seven days until they sprout. I always like to read the seed packet before I plant so I know roughly how much space they will need in between each other and how deep they need to be planted. The packet said that the collards like around two feet of spacing in between plants. I planted both the carrots and the collards about a quarter of an inch deep into the soil when I plant, I typically eyeball the spacing and I just drop my seeds into the soil. I like to mark the soil so I know the exact spots of where I planted my seeds so I know where to concentrate my watering daily. Luckily, it's supposed to rain these next couple of days, so I'm sure that will help my seeds take. I only planted four collard greens. This is my first year planting them, so I only wanted to try a few at a time. I had garlic in this raised bed just a few weeks ago, and it looks like my spaghetti squash has made it its home here. I am just checking the squash vines to make sure they have not rooted in the raised bed before I gently remove them outside of the bed. If they have rooted, then I would have left some of them, but they did not. So I just gently relocate them so I can make more room for the carrots. These are kaleidoscope carrots that I am planting. So I'm hoping for a variety of colors. I plant my carrots in rows and I just gently sprinkle the seeds into the shallow trench I make. Here I am just making three trenches for all of my carrot seeds. I just barely cover the seeds with the soil, again only about a quarter of an inch. And I try to keep the mulch towards the outside of the seeds so I do not plant them too deep or suffocate them. You can also use a wood plank to cover the seeds or cardboard to help them retain moisture and then remove that when the seeds sprout. Carrots do not like to be transplanted, so it's always best to directly sow them into the soil so the roots go undisturbed. I might thin them out after they sprout if there's too much crowding because carrots do like their space. It can take about a week or two until they do sprout. So once I see how many come up, I'll decide how much thinning I need to do. 
after I plant both my carrots and collards, I of course give them a generous watering. I also plan to check on them daily because in the summer heat, you don't want them to dry out. Let me know what you are growing in July and happy gardening.